So the principal function of serotonin is to enhance adaptive responses to adverse conditions via two distinct pathways. The first pathway is a passive coping pathway, and that improves stress tolerability. And the second pathway is an active coping pathway associated with increased plasticity, which can improve a person's ability to identify and overcome a source of stress by changing their outlook or behavior. The first pathway is mediated by the 5-HT1A receptor, and the second pathway is mediated by the 5-HT2A receptor. So the person is in a stressful environment, and the brain releases serotonin. And the serotonin starts by initially hitting the 5-HT1A receptors, and this allows the person to bear the stressor stoically. Hopefully they'll soldier on, or the problem will go away, or something will naturally change. But let's say that this adversity happens for a really long time, and it's really bad, and then the serotonin passes some threshold, and now it starts acting on the 2A receptors. So the brain realizes that this thing is not going away. It needs to try higher risk strategies. So it increases the cortical entropy, which allows for new solutions. 